Hey, I'm John, and in the last video I did an unboxing and assembly guide for the longer LK5 3D printer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to level the print bed. It's pretty simple, and if you're doing it for the first time, all you're going to need is a sheet of computer paper. If you're not doing it for the first time, you're going to want to kind of clean up the bed a little bit and make sure that the nozzle's free of any filament, just to make sure that you get the best leveling results. Now, the reason why leveling your print bed is important is because it makes sure that you can get the highest quality print, it makes sure that the filament adheres well to the bed, and it's just going to make your experience overall better. It's pretty simple with the longer LK5 Pro, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to turn the printer on. If you need to clean your nozzle and print bed before you start the leveling process, the first thing you're going to want to do is to get the nozzle and the print bed heated up to operating temperature. For me, that's the nozzle at about 200 degrees Celsius and the print bed at about 50 degrees Celsius. To do that, you're going to go to the main menu, you're going to click on Tune, and then you'll click on Nozzle Temp and Heat Bed Temp, and you'll use the arrows to increase the temperature. Once the temperature is close to where you need it to be, you can go ahead and move the print bed out so you have good access to it. In the main menu, if you click the move button, you've got a bunch of controls where you can move the print bed, you can move the nozzle, and then you'll just want to bring that print bed close, uh, as far out as you can. The first step to cleaning the print bed is to scrape all of that residue off. Now if you use a scraper like I'm using, which is a metal one with a pretty sharp edge, you want to be careful not to gouge the print bed. I found that it worked best if I kept pressure on the edge of the blade with my two fingers. While you're watching a time lapse of me scraping gunk off of my printer bed, now's a great time to throw me a follow, like this video, and comment on what other 3D printer content you'd like to see. Once you've got all the residue that you can scraped up, you're going to want to hit that bad boy with some warm soapy water. Don't be afraid to put a little pressure on it, you want to try to scrub as much of that additional residue out as you can. I was able to get quite a bit of that residue off, but not quite all of it. They do make some special cleaning solutions that I may end up trying out and reviewing in the future to see if I can get it a little cleaner than that. The last thing you need to do before you can start leveling is you need to clean your nozzle. You can do that by going back to the main menu, clicking move, moving the nozzle up as high as it can go, and then just wiping it off with a paper towel. Once you've got everything clean, you can start the process of leveling your bed. To start that, go to your main menu, click on utilities, and click on leveling. There you've got five numbers on your screen, one, two, three, four, and five. Those are the different positions that you're going to use to level the print bed. To begin, you're going to place the piece of paper on the print bed. The piece of paper is used as a gauge, if you will. When the print head goes down onto the print bed and there's a sheet of paper in between it, you should be able to move the piece of paper but still feel friction. That's how you know that the nozzle is in the correct spot. If the paper moves too freely under the nozzle or it's too tight under the nozzle, that means the bed needs to be adjusted. To adjust the bed, there's little knobs on each of the four corners. Clockwise moves the bed up, counterclockwise moves the bed down. What you want to do is you want to make micro adjustments. It's very sensitive, so just turn it a little bit up or a little bit down and kind of slide the paper back and forth as you're doing that to find that perfect spot. Once you've made your full complete first pass around the print bed, you kind of feel like you're done, like you've done it. But what I found is that actually doing it a second and even maybe a third time gets the best results because as one side moves it kind of tweaks the opposite side a little bit and so I had better results 
when I went around all four corners and into the middle at least two to three times. And that's really all there is to it to leveling the print bed of the longer LK5 Pro. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please, please, please give me a follow and like this video. Until next time.